Riju, the Gerudo leader. She once fought by Link's side astride her trusty sand seal, Patricia, to save the Gerudo desert. She became chief at a young age following her mother's death, so she works hard to prove herself. Focused on saving her home from a new threat, she's dedicated to mastering her newly discovered lightning powers. Boyara, a strong warrior who guards Chief Riju. She's familiar with Link from his previous visits. One glance at her giant claymore deters most troublemakers. Her concern for Riju is one of the few things that softens the stern demeanor that she shows her soldiers. And why not? Master Koga. Head of the Yiga clan, an organization with a grudge against Hyrule. His grandiosity and ex inexplicable charisma inspire passion, inspires passionate loyalty. Originally thought to have been killed in battle with Link, he survived after following into the depths of the world. Burning with ambition to join the Magnificent One and guide the world to its end, he has sent his acolytes to all corners of Hyrule. And he's considered Chica. That's... A bit of interesting lore there. Good morning, guys and gals. <laughs> and by good morning, I mean good night. I'm I'm all too used to Pikmin in that regard. It is not actually morning at all. It's 9 p.m. Last time, we success. Oh no. What? Last time, we successfully defended Gerudo Town from the Gibdo threat. That's interesting over there. I also am now realizing that there's a shrine on top of this, uh, on top of the town, and I kind of want to go to that. <sighs> what? Wait, whoa, whoa. wait, ho hold the phone, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, hit detection? <laughs> Is, does that work? Any hold up. Hold up, hold up. I think that works because we're above the storm, not because the hit detection of the light is that high. Uh, this this might seem a little bit weird, but I am going to go towards the town. Uh, I have a very specific reason for getting a shrine, and I, I think it would be most valuable if I got it at the beginning of the episode. So give me just one moment. Oh, I noticed this in post, and I, I wanted to point it out, and this is the best opportunity for me to do so. Riju's throne is very interesting. If you look at it closely, you realize that, actually, there are two thrones here. Riju has a booster seat in her throne, as well as stairs, because this was originally built for Obosa. So, inside this throne is a seat that's much smaller, and it was very clearly added on later. Really cool detail. I also accidentally ascended <laughs> into Riju's room. In Breath of the Wild, you could read her journal, and it's still here. Let's see what... What's been added since then? Read your diary. Oh, gracious. I received an unsettling report from Bulliara today. A strange haze, some have called it gloom, is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. But my friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring beneath Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky, where it was joined by countless small flo floating islands. So much is happening all at once. What is going on in the world, and are those two safe? Things grow m more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst thunderstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the Sand Shroud, or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. As the chief of the Gerudo town, I am to blame for all these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter were strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We're also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but we must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. And, as a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here, feeling sorry for myself, won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Boreal in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Despite my worries for my people, and for the world, I must do what I can. 
I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Oh, Lady Urbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch over us all in these dark times, and keep Zelda and Link safe. And that's... That's it. Beautiful shrine. The... The Sasparilla Shrine. The Sahasrilla Shrine. Buried light. Okay, where? what are we doing? What are we doing here? What's this shrine? Wind? Alright. Some Skyward Sword vibes going on here. Uh, let's... Ew, I don't have a shield, do I? I don't think I have... That would break instantly. I suppose we're just ultra-handing this. Oh, that, look at that. Look at that. That actually moved. Like, there was volume to that. That's neat. And you know what? I probably wouldn't want to use this on a shield anyway, considering the amount of, of blowing we're going to have to do here. This is really cool, though. Uh, the Skyward Sword used items in a super sweet way, where... Also, I forgot that I was in pro... Oh, no, I'm, I'm not in pro mode. They just disabled the map while I'm in here. The Skyward Sword used items in such a great and organic way. It, it was... It's really a shame that they stopped after that game, and they stopped with items in 3D Zeldas after that, and we just got... We got bombs and... Stasis and all that. I totally forgot you guys existed. Uh, let's get this out of my inventory. And... Ha! <laughs> it really it had nothing left. I should have just thrown the thing. I would have done a lot more. Uh, poke, poke. Oh, that, that was it. You were barely even worth killing. I could, probably could have thrown a piece of flint at you. I, it's really sad to me that modern game design... Because really... Uh, Look at the difference. Look at the difference between Skyward Sword and this and Breath of the Wild. The jump in polish? I'm not exactly sure how complexity is in astounding. I mean, one of the biggest goals they had in Skyward or in um in Breath of the Wild was to make a a, a physics engine based game, and it's clear that previous Zelda games I thought I heard an enemy, but... Oh, he's over there. Okay. It's clear that that's what Breath of the Wild was. There's so many different solutions to puzzles, and it's... It's something that, that Skyward Sword didn't necessarily have. Where, what am I... Oh, there's probably a switch there. And I w But I would have loved to see a, a traditional older Zelda game with the modern sensi sensibilities of of modern game design because uh, imagine this is the example I always go to and I, I think I've actually talked about it in this let's play so I apologize I record these so far apart that I'll, that that often happens but imagine the the spinner item from Twilight Princess it's one of it's one of what was that you punching me that's not very cool Imagine the spinner. It, it was such a great item, and then now imagine that where it plays with the other items that you could throw, you uh, or you could use your bow while riding it, or you could use your whip or your hook shot. What am I? What am I? What am I trying to do? Okay, this is dumb. This is dumb. I have an idea. I am going to shoot for a gamble. Yeah, I'm going to use it. That didn't work. Um. Ah, ah. I did it. I, I don't know if that was the intended way to solve this, but it worked. I don't think it was the intended way to solve this, considering now I don't have a, f a fan up here. I get my frond back. Uh, that's, that's no problem, though. I, I can drop a fan here. 
Oh, I can't use these in a dungeon or in a, a shrine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch this. Boom. Boom. Actually, let's get it a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might be wondering, what are you doing? And if you're you aren't wondering that, it's probably because you you know played this game a little bit more than I have. Let's recall it up, baby! Come on. <laughs> and then I just get Alter Hand ready. And when it comes up, I grab it. Ha <laughs> yeah! I, I don't know if that was intended, but man, if, if that isn't overdue. I talked about that so long ago. I'm like, oh man, recall is, is actually busted. The the uh, the potential for this thing is insane, and then I just didn't use it. And I got, I get, you know what? I needed arrows, I guess, so that's fine. Now we blow this away? Or not? Wait. What am I missing with this shrine? This probably isn't what they want us to do, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it is not what they want us to do. Don't mind me. Um, please don't mind me. That, that was embarrassing. Talk about Zelda, or honestly, Video Game 101, not looking at my surroundings enough. Alright, now that we're here, let's not make a fool of myself. I know that sounds borderline impossible, but considering the depths I've already sunk into. But l listen, listen, it's, it's under control. It's fine. It's okay. It is totally kosher. I just need to arrange this mirror here. Ah, uh, I get it, kind of. There are a couple ways I could do this. Uh, I also could have ascended through it. We're not, listen, it's been a while. It's, oh. That's not what I expected. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> I just, I just got back from Yellowstone. I have surgery in like three days. It's, life is crazy right now. You can't, listen, <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> and now that I've done that, we have a warp point. Why does that warp point matter? Well, we got all those resources in the depths and uh, it would be a shame if we didn't use them. Please, make me everything. Give me some batteries. Give me some double A's. Some C's, some D's, some triple A's. Yeah! Ha ha! It just seems kind of dumb if I... If I go to all that trouble and don't have anything to show for it, right? And that's not all. I would like to buy... A dark tunic. Yeah. <laughs> 150 pose? <laughs> Chump change for me. Yeah, I don't know what it does, but we're gonna get it. Uh, also... Do I want any of these? I think... You know what? I I learned a lesson in uh I learned I, I learned a lesson in Pikmin 4 recently about not having resources and thinking that you won't need them and then finding out that you do. So I I'm gonna just get just get a few things. A few things. I have I have I don't need any more than that. Thank you. And then 
I will realize that I don't have four magical balls and I can't upgrade. Back to Grudo. First things first, let's check out our new, our new gear. It doesn't do anything, okay. That uh, makes me suspect that it does what it did in uh, in Breath of the Wild. Although it's kind of cool that our hand is our right hand is exposed. Other than that, I think it's time to get to business here, and by that I mean. Oh, pull up. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Come on. Look at us. Look at us with our batteries. Look at us. I could have made this thing to be able to steer it, but it's fine. We're, we're, we're flying. Ha! <laughs> and this is why I did what I did. This is why we went to the depths first. We're just skipping over all this. I'm not going to have stamina in a mo- or, uh, batteries in a moment. Oh, I actually probably could- I could have continued to glide on that. That's fine. That's fine. Lesson learned. What is that? Never mind. I'm a beast. I can't mark- I can mark that from the air! That's awesome! Keep holding the direction. Don't get lost. And... We're here. Where is here? What is this? Is this our destination? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll climb this like a normal person. You know, I, actually, I, I just mentioned that. With all the cuts this episode, it's been kind of hard to keep a coherent train of thought. But, um... Oh, it's hot. I don't really have anything for that. Not really. Uh, Yellowstone. I just went to uh, to Yellowstone, spent a week there, and that's weird. Can I aim that? It was it was awesome. I, I encountered a bunch of bison, a bear. It was really sweet. I I am excited to go back at some point. Let's get in the shadows. But it's definitely given me both a the camera itch. That's not camera. Because I, I really want to start taking photos constantly. I think that's going to be sweet. Uh, but it also gives me this explorer's itch I, I really am excited about. I, I just, I love treating life like it is an open world game. It's really exciting to me to, uh, actually, can we get yellow chew jelly? Because that has an AoE on it. Boom. Kind of, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> Wrong one. Don't latch onto that. That dealt a lot of damage. Okay, that's um, that's they haven't hit me yet, and so I I kind of thought that they were weaklings. But if they manage to get in a hit, they're doing quite a lot of damage. Also, uh, let's heal. Uh. Tempting. I uh, sure. Ah. No, I'll just eat some normal food. I was gonna say if I if I <laughs> died to heat, I've never died to heat. That would have been the most embarrassing thing. That would have been awful. But yeah, I, I really love treating life like it's an open world game. New animation. Ah, that makes sense. And just going on a road trip with no real aim in sight, or you have a destination, but you, it's not like it's not set in stone. So you're you're totally down to just stop if you see something cool. Is there a cool outcropping of rock? Just stop the car. Just go there. Just why why not? Who's stopping you? And you can only really do that if. You're either traveling with someone who's down to do that as well, which is, they're hard to find, or you're going alone. And right now, just for my life at the moment, I, I've been going it alone. I think partially because I've had, I've had some... Uh... Skyward Sword, or not Skyward Sword, Wind Waker much? Do we want to go into the middle of this? 
Let's go into the middle of it. I've had so many bad mem- or good memories, but with a person I don't really want to think about anymore. And so, I, I think I'm at the point of my life where I'm trying to replace- I'm trying to, uh, replace the bad- the good memories with a bad person with memories with someone who- with my- just myself. Because if it's just with myself, then nothing is bad is going to happen to taint those memories, right? And so that's kind of kind of where I'm at. This is clearly significant. I don't know how it's significant, and I don't have a... Ooh! Here's a thought. Here's a thought. Destroy fused material, because, if I remember, shield surfing on sand doesn't use up durability, which just makes it the perfect use for this shield. Yeah. That makes sense. Then we can get going, although I could make a sand cruiser, which I... am going to make a sand cruiser. Hovercraft! I probably shouldn't go too crazy with this. Because it does cost resources. Go that way, please. We're going to that one. And I could glide, but I probably shouldn't glide. No, stop! <laughs> You're going the wrong way. This thing has some crazy momentum to it. There. Uh, stop. You don't have a break! Get back here. Get back over here. Hovercraft, more like bar of soap craft. Okay, I'm gonna leave this with you guys. Actually, you know what? You, the, the valets here seem like they're a little bit underpaid. It's, I can't really trust to keep my valuables in the car with them around, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna park like a normal person. Uh, you're not congealed, are you? Now you are. Now you're congealed. Die. Get all the Gibdo bones, which I haven't been using yet. I, I really should get on that. What do you mean my... Oh. Uh, you know, I value the reach right now. Ooh, oil jar. Okay. Thank you. And then, thankfully... The game designers were, were really cool. And they designed all of this architecture with Ascend in mind. Which, honestly, I'm kind of liking Ascend more than... Is that even a, like, hot take? I don't think it is. Ascend is so much better than Rivali's Gale, in my opinion. It requires the environment to work, whereas Rivali's Gale didn't, and it just... Know what these are supposed? Oh, is that? I see. Oh, okay. Uh, now I understand. Um, and I feel like a bit of a doofus for not understanding. Of course, that's a, uh, uh, of course that's what they do. But these are just pillars. What am I? What am I trying to do here? Let's let's get an idea of the bigger picture before I just start building random garbage. Oh, question mark. Um, what are we? I don't think I'm aiming it at that. Am I... Oh, I can't aim that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, 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 okay. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, we are... Trying to move these. Uh, I gotta say, this puzzle would be really annoying if I, I still was only rocking one battery. 
My word, would that be awful? Drop. Cause look at look at all the time I have here. I can, I can have some ice. Game. 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 Thank you. I can kick back. I can play some music. I can. Boom. Ah. Ah. I can just take my dear old sweet time. That's it. Also, that illustrates what those things are for. That's nice. Uh, boom. Sure. Yeah. I don't know why I needed four, but. Yeah, where am I? Yeah, I'm trying to connect it to that one, right? That looks like what I'm trying to do. And... Yeah, I did it. Ha, I did it. Hi-ho, Wind Waker and Skyward Sword. Oh, hi-ho, hi-ho, Skyward Sword. That's just from Skyward Sword. All right, that's um, that's just there. Ah, uh, yes, a huge triangle. Yeah, it was revealed in the center, which is where we expected it to have been revealed. It is a miracle. I should probably go to that shrine. No. Nah. 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 <laughs> I don't need to go to that shrine. Uh, I could glide, but... Uh, I could also... Hover. <laughs> and grab some arrows. And with that, we ride. And hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. That's not it. That's not it. That's not what I want. I want the giant beacon of light in the center that is no longer a beacon of light, which makes it incredibly hard to see. Ugh, get up, the thing. Ah, come on. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> I'm walking now. Link! Hmm. Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda. Yeah, I I see it. I don't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. I did. I no longer do. You know, maybe, Riju, I think it might be you. I think you might be the problem. Hmm. I saw the lights of the red pillars and, sc and hurried here as quickly as I could. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time. Oh? Did you solve the, mur the mural's riddle and cause this to appear? I'm impressed! If I remember correctly, the mural said, Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning, sh lightning stone and open the way. Oh. Maybe the li my lightning strike is the key. Uh, can you, like... Do it yourself this time. I, uh, I only have like forty-five arrows and. Uh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. Scribbly. And after using the pillars, connecting them all, going to the center of the thing to strike a specific thing with lightning that they, the ancient ancestors assumed you would have, the way is revealed. Uh, Walmart. <laughs> a dark Walmart. Which is, now that I think about it, just Walmart. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart.